This video is going to show you how to use the updated attendance tool. We'll be covering the tool's settings, basic attendance tracking, and new grading features. To get started, we'll click on the attendance tool. Next, we'll click on the settings tab. The settings tab has a couple of basic options. First, you can choose which types of statuses you would like to track. You can also decide the order that they will appear when you actually enter attendance. This setting does not assign value to the statuses you are using. It simply indicates the order they appear for you to select them when tracking attendance. The other option you can adjust in this tab is the comment setting. This allows you to choose whether or not comments you enter with an attendance item will be visible to your students. Comments are only visible to the student you leave the comment for. You must check the box to allow students to see your comments. So I'll check the box now. Once we're done, we will click on the Save Settings button here. Next, we're going to set up our grading. First, we must decide how many points attendance will be worth. I've established for this class that all gradebook items are going to be worth 100 points, so I'll enter 100 points for attendance as well. Next, I'm going to select the option to allow students to see their grade within the tool. I'll go ahead and select to send the grades to the gradebook option as well, which will activate the gradebook syncing. Once I do this, I need to give the gradebook item a name, and we'll just go ahead and leave it as attendance. Once I save these settings, the tool will go ahead and create the attendance item in my gradebook. So now before I go any further to adjust anything else, let's go ahead and check out the gradebook. Gradebook settings I'm using in my gradebook include categories and weighting with attendance representing 20% of the total course grade. I'm using points for grade entry and to keep things simple, all of the gradebook items I'll be entering will be worth 100 points. While I'm here, let's go ahead and look at the grades tab so I can assign the attendance gradebook item to the right category. So here's some gradebook items that I've created already for other things. And if we scroll to the right, we'll see that my attendance item that was created earlier is uncategorized. So I'll want to edit the item and assign it to the right category, which will be attendance. So let's save those changes and now we've got our attendance category with our attendance gradebook item. Now that we've established what my gradebook looks like, we can review the rest of the attendance grading settings with a little more clarity. At this point, we need to set the grading mode. This is a new setting in the attendance tool that provides an automatic grading option. To use the original manual grading option, simply leave the setting on the manually grade students selection and enter a grade for students in the student overview tab after manually calculating each grade. So if a student has a certain number of absences and that is going to provide them with a certain grade, you will just enter that grade manually after reviewing the number of absences or um, attendance records for each of these students. Now to define automatic grading rules, we will select that option in our attendance grading tab and then decide if students will be earning points for coming to class or if they're going to be losing points for missing class. So we're going to go ahead and set it to start the students with the total number of points and have them lose points as they miss classes. So everyone in this case is going to get 100 points. Now we need to define the rules. There is a great help feature built in if you forget how that works. You just click on the how do I add rules link and it will show you how to do everything you need to do. Since we're going to be deducting points for absences, I'm going to need to have that represented in my rules. The status we are defining in this case is going to be absent and we're going to enter a 1 in the from box and a 1 in the through box. This represents one absence. So for only one absence, a student is going to lose 25 points. 
and I'll click on the add rule to save that. Now I can create a, another rule here. So for my next rule, I'm going to put a two in the from box and I'll put a two in the through box. It's gonna be worth 25 times two. So this is going to be worth minus 50. So for two absences, a student is going to have a 50 out of 100 instead of a 75 out of 100. And we'll do this for the third and fourth until they get all the way down to zero. After four absences, they would have a, a zero. You'll see from my last rule, student receives minus 100 for being absent four through 30 times. The 30 really should be however many class meetings you have. So if a student misses all of the classes, they would obviously get a zero for attendance. Um, in this case, I just want to make sure I'm capturing anything more than four, so I just use the random number of 30, and that will suffice for this particular course. So now, all of my grading rules are in place, and you can see a summary of them here. Um, if you want to go ahead and grade all of your grades based on these rules, you can, but I haven't entered any attendance yet, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now. Now it's time to take attendance. So we'll click on the take attendance tab and this can be done in two ways. You can set up all of your class meeting dates ahead of time and then enter attendance later. This is done by using the add attendance item button. So I'll go ahead and add an attendance item. We'll call it class one and we'll give it the date for the first day of class. We don't need to track time, so I'm going to leave that blank. Um, once you enter the date, you can save that item or save it and add more. I'll just go ahead and save that one item. Now that this is made, I can click on the item and take attendance by marking student statuses individually. Or I can use the mark all students mark displayed students as and choose a single option to make them all the same and then I could adjust accordingly so if I have a large class and everyone is there except for one student I can mark everyone as present and then go find the one student who's absent and mark them as absent. Once you update any of the statuses the change is saved automatically and you'll see a note at the top that indicates that. When you set up attendance items in advance, you also have the option to print out an attendance sheet for you to manually track attendance, or a sign-in sheet for students to sign in with. This is great for keeping attendance when you're meeting at a location without an internet connection. To get that sheet, you'll simply go back to your Take Attendance tab, find the date that you'd like to print the sheet for, select the Print button, and then choose whether or not you want a sign-in sheet or an attendance sheet. The sign-in sheet provides a student uh, with the option to just sign their name marking that they're there. The attendance sheet actually has every student listed with all the statuses so that you can track attendance yourself. The other way to take attendance is to use the Take Attendance Now button. So we will click on the Take Attendance Now option and it will take us to the screen where we can mark all of our students as present, absent, excused, late, or left early. We'll go ahead and mark them all as present, and we will indicate another absent here for test student, and then we could also leave a comment. So this student can now see the comment, um, and this is a great way to track attendance if you have an internet connected computer or phone available once the class begins. So you can get that attendance marked right away and it's tracked for students to see and, and their grades will be adjusted accordingly. So finally, let's look at how the automatic grading works now that we have things set up and have, some, and have taken some attendance. We're going to go to the student overview tab to get a snapshot of how individual students are doing and we'll notice that the student with the absences has been uh, adjusted accordingly in terms of their grade. They now have a 50. Um, 
all of this information is automatically transferred to the gradebook as well. So let's go take a look at that. You can see here our attendance grade is being pushed in from the attendance tool and our student with the two absences at this point already has an F in the class because they have a 50 out of 100 for attendance. Now none of their other grades have been entered so they could make that up but depending on your grading policies this might already result in some some serious problems. Uh, the nice thing is the student gets to see this automatically they know if you're paying attention and they know that you know they're not coming to class. So this completes the overview of the attendance tool. If you have any questions, please reach out to the help desk or check out the resources available on our website, tech.brevard.edu.